What's going on everybody? So today we're bringing you another unboxing and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you after getting this palette, uh, I don't know why I bought it and why I paid so much for it. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. We paid $460 for it, plus $150 shipping. So we're all in for $610. And um, I don't know. I mean, so far the palette is very unenthusiastic. Yeah. Um, I think what was happening, honestly, if we're just being really real, um, we did not have a lot of palettes. We were really, really needing inventory. And I think our optimism kind of got the better of us. And this was this may have been a poor judgment palette. Yeah. So if you have ever watched any of our unboxing videos, according to us and you know all of our fees and all of the things that we calculate, a good palette, a good successful palette, is one that we can double our money on. Mm -hmm. So we need about twelve twenty. Yeah. We need about twelve twenty, and I I'm looking in this box, and I unless there is a <laughs> hidden gem somewhere, I on I don't know that we're gonna make that. We'll see. Yeah. Learn from us. Uh, on what not to do. <laughs> we be, may not always be able to tell you what to do, but we yeah. can definitely tell you uh, what not to do. Yeah, but so. I don't know. Only one way to find out is to uh, unbox it. And I will tell you that this is from liquidation.com. It is a Amazon shelf pool. Um, from this particular location, what a shelf pool classifies is box damage stuff that was damaged on the way to Amazon to be sold, Amazon FBA, meaning that Amazon will ship it uh, for like people like me and Jessica. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also items that have been shipped to the customer, but the box was damaged uh, and they sent it back to Amazon as a return, but it's items that have never been used. So let's jump in. I'm really nervous. I I just, I am not seeing a lot of money in this palette. I know there's some boxes down here that we don't see, but uh, I don't, I don't know. But I'll go ahead and just pull this, since we already see this. This is a Shark Navigator. Very nice looking vacuum actually. Whitney's wanting to buy it. Oh, Whitney wants this? Yeah. Cool. Well, at least we got a sale for sure. She's seen it and she wanted to buy it. Um, okay, so it it's good for pets. It's actually I think advertised for like a for pets, which would explain why she would want it because Whitney is a dog mama. Mm, sorry. Wow. All right. So first one, 170 bucks. That's not bad. It's got a little damage here in the box. I'm not. Can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> It's got some damage here in the box, but we'll open it up and look and see. Looking inside. Looks like it hasn't even been yeah. unpacked. Everything looks great. It looks like uh, any damage that may have been to the box, the packaging has really done its job. So yeah. it looks great. So 170 bucks, we'll sell it for 140 bucks to uh, Whitney, because she said she wants it for however much we'll charge. You, you, you ready? <laughs> this is very fascinating. It's one of those little file organizer thing in the box. Actually, I need a file organizer. And, uh, this had another plastic container in it. We'll show you. It's uh, We stole it already. Um, it was a little container to put Desi's dog food in. It was a little broken, so we took it. But here's another plastic container. I mean, if we did sell something like that, it wouldn't be very much. No. I use a lot of cardboard, those little portable cardboard filing th uh, systems. And uh, I was actually thinking about getting something bigger. Um, just for my personal like stuff I like I'm very organized and I like to keep things in specific areas so I have we have a filing cabinet but then I have my own filing system um, and uh, that would be really nice it looks like it's it's uh, it got uh, disconnected from its family it's supposed to be a four pack 
Aww. But uh, even on here it says four pack. But uh, this is just one running solo. So looks like it was meant to be adopted by you. Awesome. It's great for me that we're gonna have, I'm gonna have something, you know, that I can use, but it doesn't bode well for this palette because that is now zero dollars and another item that we've gone through. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another one since, uh, I'll grab two. Looks like we got a mop and a heat control window film. Oh, interesting. Mm. Definitely some, some damage to this box. It looks like it's been taped up after being broken. These items typically don't cost a lot to begin with. Um, you know, 20, 30 bucks, guess. So there's no way that we would sell it online just because of this odd size box. It would eat up all of our shipping cost. So this is something that we may put in the flea market booth. But looking at it, I got a nice, neat little mop. Oh, yeah. I got you. It's got the uh, oh, the box. inserts. Okay. That's cool. I'm following it now what it is. All right, so I looked at the little, it's a microfiber. Nice. And uh, 45 bucks. So I'm thinking 25 bucks local on yep. Facebook Marketplace. One thing is, it looks like there was two bottles on this. Is there two bottles in here? Oh yeah, there yeah. is. There's yeah. one here and one there. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Got all the pieces. Yeah. That's nice. I think that'll sell pretty quick. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Really? Yeah. 57.15. So, all right. 57.15. So, even though this is. Yeah. There is some damage to the box here, but it yeah. looks like the film itself is perfectly fine. You can actually see the roll in there. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this, I'm actually gonna list it in two places. I'm gonna list it on eBay for like 45 bucks as a open box item that it's still, it's like 25% off of what the normal retail price is. But then we're also gonna list it on Facebook Marketplace for about 30 bucks in hopes that overall, whether we sell it on eBay or on Facebook, we'll profit about 30 bucks for it. Show us what we got next. I guess I'll just pull this, uh, this right here. Uh, this is actually an, uh, an exercise mat. Oh. Those like absorbent. Gorilla mat. Which I've been wanting one. I just don't have room for it, so I probably won't won't keep this one. Uh, but you know, for you know those those, they're they're very absorbent. They kind of absorb extra, you know. And mm. when you're working out, if you you know, it's kind of like padding. Yeah. But it's not so squishy like a yoga mat that you know you would have a hard time maybe doing jumping or lunging I'm fine, things yeah. like that. So um, a lot of uh, home gyms, this is what they use. Um, and if I'm, if I remember correctly, it's probably worth a, a decent amount of money. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> it's $159. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, yes, cause exercise that's equipment crazy. goes really well. And in this area, exercise equipment goes, has always been very good. Yeah. But then on top of it being COVID and a lot of gyms, just people not feeling comfortable. Our gyms are open, but people don't feel very comfortable going there. So a lot of people are setting up home gyms and I think this will sell. And I may even list this locally on Facebook Marketplace for more than I would originally, maybe $140. Maybe we'll get 120 out of it and we'll just start marking it down every week um, Until it sells, but I think we can actually get more for this right now in this season than we would originally Of course we got a box. It's damaged the box is at the top pretty good. Wow, what is it? You can see But I'm not seeing any what, little what is it? It's a uh, spray one for pressure washers Oh, yeah. yeah, that'll sell though if it works and if it's not it's messed up. It's got a little damage right here, so I'm not sure if that can even oh, be used. Oh, yeah, that piping. Because it looks like it's all supposed to go together as one long little thing. So that's a bummer. This may be zero bucks. Okay. It may be something where I can bend it out. I don't think you can bend that and, out. Uh, that's some thick metal. Yeah. But this might be something that I can repair and uh, bend it out possibly. I know it's heavy duty metal 
but it slides inside of this piece. So as long as it can, can form a secure and stable connection, then uh, we should still be able to sell it. Granted, we can't sell this as new open box. Uh, it would have to be sold as used, which is gonna reduce the amount of money that we can get for it. But uh, let's see how much it goes for new, and then we'll figure out what we can get for it. All right, so we did find this specific one, but as you can see, it is currently unavailable. Looking at uh, comparable items from different brands, it's going for like 100 to 120 bucks brand new. With that damaged, best case scenario, I think is 40 bucks. I'm gonna get this, uh, uh, it's a tree, a light up tree. Cool. Uh, I'm not sure what that means though. I'll show you. But the box is severely <laughs> wow. damaged. But this is an eight foot, uh, 132 light LED That's decorative birch wow. tree. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it's very pretty. That's cool. Eight feet, man. That is tall. I'm looking at it, and uh, this is the stand. This is a little scraped up, but like that's that goes into the stand, so mm -hmm. I don't see. I mean, this is something that if I did sell, I'd want to know if it works. I may, I may would plug it in. Yeah. Just because the box is so, there's no telling. I mean, what could have happened? This this box is destroyed. Um, it looks okay. I may not yeah. like un un uncover everything, but I may run yeah. some electricity through it just to make sure it li lights up. But yeah. it's very pretty. It does um, say that uh, the bulbs can't be replaced, but if a bulb goes out, that the other bulbs will continue working. So I don't know if I'll be able to get that. It's almost up. If that scans it, then like the Amazon app is amazing. There you go. Wow. <laughs> it like worked. this was completely broken and uh the UPC code still picked that's up. That's crazy. So, so there that's you a go. Two pack. Is that two trees in there? Yes. Yeah, wow, okay. So there's two trees in there. For 120. That explains it. That explains why there's two things. I was yeah. like, that's weird. But this is also an eight foot I don't know how that's gonna work. I'd have to I don't know. Uh, that's what it says, though. It says set of two, two. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Um, there's obviously nothing missing. The box is. Yeah. There's two trunks here, and it looks. I know, like... but if it's eight feet, like, what is this? A yeah. four foot box? But so I thought one would go on top of the other. Got... They probably telescopic, telescopic. Maybe. Probably pulls out. It's possible this is the bottom of the tree. Yeah. So I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, it is really cool. Uh, if I were to sell this, I mean, it honestly, I love it, but I think it wouldn't sell until around Christmas time. Uh, we yeah. might could list it and see. Uh, but lit up trees, a lot of people, that's that's a Christmas thing for most people, even though it's not like a traditional Christmas tree. Um, so I'm thinking it, it might be something that I try to get, I don't know, 100 bucks for, maybe. Uh, I may also wait until Christmas. I'll kind of do some shopping around in my area and kind of see what's going on. But I would say, um, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to sell this right now. I don't think it's the right season for it. I might try. Um, I'd be happy with $80. Um, I might list it for a hundred and try to get 80 for it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit, but I'll probably wait until the right season to try to post this. We'll grab a couple items. It's like a pole saw. And uh, it's like the thing is bent right here, but I'm not seeing any damage to the saw itself. So that looks good. And uh, air filters, which are very bent, they can probably still be used but we've tried to sell air filters locally before and they're not selling very well. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get anything for this. Let's look this bad dude up. Just 72 bucks. 
So 72 bucks brand new. Uh, I'm thinking 40 bucks. We can get 40 bucks for it locally if I don't keep it myself because uh, I may need it in the backyard. And uh, but I will probably try to sell it first, get 40 bucks. If it hadn't sold in a couple weeks, then I will probably claim it. But we're gonna go 40 bucks. You think I can carry this on my head all the way over? No. No, it's too it's too round. There's this, and then there's this over here that I really want to see what it is because it looks kind of cool. Or it's a Sherpa fleece blanket. Sherpas. Sherpa. Sherpa. It's got a little damage to the package right here, but it looks like the blanket is in an inner baggie oh yeah so this is plastic in here it feels i want to feel it though bag. it's so soft it looking. does it looks cool i like that little uh Ooh, that's really pretty. it's a twin size mm -hmm. very cute thankful it's not queen because we'd be keeping it <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford to keep too much from this palette boom 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 shakalakalakalaka Eighteen dollars. So what can we get for it? I don't know, like ten bucks, fifteen, maybe even fifteen if it's really, really nice at the flea market. Yeah. So, um, I'll just be conservative and just call it ten bucks. I Some of this know. other box you got. I don't know what it is, but there's all this plastic in here. Nothing feels broken, but there's something hard in here. So I don't know. Um, I don't even, okay, right here would be where we would open it. Ship from Bird's Choice. Maybe it's a bird house or something. Resistant house. Maybe it's a bird house? I said that. Oh, did you? I'm sorry. You can't take my guess. Take a different guess. Uh, it's a bird bath. <laughs> I think it's a birdhouse. And I'm quick to the other birdhouse. I mean, I don't even see any instructions. It's all this like metal. I don't even. Oh, hold on. There's that. I'm just gonna scan it because I don't scan know what it. this is. No. 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 Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No. Nope. <laughs> At least we know it's a birdhouse. We just, uh... Yeah? Oh, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. How much would I sell this for? I don't even know what it is. It's a birdhouse, it's but... A we don't know what kind of birdhouse. Take out these pieces right here. All right, bird's choice, because that's yeah. the name. Yeah, PMSR12. And then I'm gonna put Starling in there. And then PM, like a dash? No. Or just PM? PMSR12. SR12. That's the closest one. And it looks like it. Maybe I can see if I can find one that has little birdies on it. If the if that's on there, then like that's it. It's like a purple Martin mansion. That's says galvanized. It's not that one. Maybe these. Maybe these. Two? It looks like little doors, but no birdies on there. Uh, you know what? I don't even know what a birdhouse like this would sell for. I know nothing about birdhouses. I do know that it comes with a little stand, but no pole. We don't have a pole. Is there a pole in here? Oh, geez, that's scary. Yeah, this is it. Right How here. do you know? It's a three floor, 12 room. Okay, so yeah, that would make sense because there's one, two, three floors here and a roof. But how do you know it's that? Oh. I Googled it. 
and it's oh, currently unavailable, which is why. Why we couldn't find yeah. it. So if the eight room, the two, the two floor, the two floor eight suite sterling resistant Martin house was a hundred bucks. This has got to be more than that. More. So 120 bucks. So do I want to keep a hundred and twenty dollar bird nope. house? No. So we'll sell it and then buy yeah. a cheaper bird house. We'll do that. But I just don't know, like if we can try and sell that locally, I'll try to sell it locally for like a hundred bucks. If not, then I'll put it on eBay and uh, hope to profit, you know, 90 bucks. Either way we sell. So $90 profit is what we're looking for. Oh, got a damaged box. Looks like air purifier. Hey man, if looks that like, works, it'll be really nice. Yep. Which we really need some yes something good right now so uh area max yeah 290 purifier and definitely some damage but doesn't look like it's affected the actual because you can see like it's not even close to um it looks like the internal packaging may have done it some good you but looks like there's no damage to the filter itself. It's like the bad got a little ripped up, but no damage to the, uh, it's like I guess that's the base. Ooh. There's some stress. It looks like maybe a little stress mark right here, but. Oh, it's a Fellows Aeromex. All right. Dun, dun, dun pretty <laughs> the suspense so used 158 bucks for cool. used acceptable condition so brand new easily 200 bucks easily 200 bucks and i'll probably will check what they have been selling for new um but i'm thinking it's in this condition it's op damaged open box i'm thinking we get at least 160 bucks for it so cool. 160 bucks all right, so we are just about halfway done with this unboxing, and we just did the math. All right, so we are about halfway done with this unboxing, and if you remember, we are all in on this palette for $610. So we just did the math, and we're at $715, so we're already $100 into the profit. Remember, we want to double our investment of 610 bucks so we're shooting for 1220 so we need another 500 dollars of the rest of these items to reach our goals i always kind of like to get the small stuff out of the way first uh when i catch them this is a uh, baking, baking sheets, sheets. kind of dented up but so we got a couple huh. of these i don't even know what i mean they are bent up pretty good they're nice little, uh, yeah, they're, I mean, they feel good. Can that be like, I don't know, pound it out or something? I don't we know. could probably pound it out. I don't think I'd sell it, but uh, I mean, it would be hard. People, I mean, we wouldn't sell it for much. Just no, baking sheets in general, even no. really nice ones, are not hugely. Should I try and at least see what this brand is? Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to know what I think it's always good to know what something is worth. All right, so these two right here are $24.99. If we were to sell them, we would sell them locally, maybe make five bucks off of it. But I think for our purposes and just time, we're just gonna go ahead and count that as zero. And this, if I don't I, like those. If, if I it know, is. If, if this is, it feels like it. Those, it's a hoop tent. And uh, basically you just kind of like take it out and you like flip it out and it just kind of goes um, It's like we got so so many of these um and we're ripped right there ripped this is a right three there. person yeah camping tent okay so this <laughs> is pretty torn up so right here torn up you can tell and then here torn up but the tent itself looks pretty good um i i cannot tell you how much i dislike these things um because putting them 
taking them out is fine and inspecting them. Folding them back together is you need a college degree for. I don't know. Above college degree. I don't know. Because like I have a, a degree and I can't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's specifically in tent folding. Okay. So. I gotcha. Anyway, I'm going to see how much this is worth. I'm going to hate having to test this out to sell it, but sometimes it's worth it with these things, especially the bigger ones. Um, with stuff like this, I what I would probably end up doing is we have a local... Um, group here that t that takes care of our homeless in Conway community um, something like this I'm probably just gonna go ahead and donate to our local soul food uh, group that takes care of our homeless in this community somebody may need it there what's that it's a uh, drink dispenser stainless oh. steel rectangle dispenser large capacity cold brew and uh, the box has been damaged. You see it's been open, but looking at the bottom of the uh, dispenser, uh, I'm not seeing any damage. You take it out, it's like it's got the frame down there. Uh -oh. Where's the base? The lid is damaged. Oh, yeah. The lid is pretty bent up. It's got some cracks there. This is the base. And then you take this out. This is the base. It's like the base is cracked too, so I'm not sure how well this Would it is even... going to stay on there. And uh, I don't even know. You know? That's going to be secure to be able to... Uh, I don't think it will. I don't even think that's going to yeah. work. So... Uh, See this this whole thing is supposed to go in and be stable, but it won't because the the frame is bent. This won't stick in, and then on top of that, this lid is going to be it's all it's broken, so cracked you can't even put it on here. So I'm going to say this is a loss. But I can use it for, for what? kombucha. I can brew. It's a three gallon thing container. I can big instead of having to do them, you know, one gallon at a time, I can brew three gallons of kombucha in here at one time. We can have one huge scoby in here. Put a little cheesecloth on the top, it'd get air in there, you can dispense it out of the bottom. Yeah, if not, it's gonna go in the garbage and we don't like to put stuff in the garbage. I got a kombucha container, I got a kombucha container. You want to find out how much it's worth before we put it away? Yeah, let's go ahead and check. Ninety bucks. You got a ninety-dollar broken kombucha maker. I did. It sucks because we could have sold that fifty, sixty bucks to like local churches. They have little potlucks and stuff. Uh, but uh, man, I'm scared about this one. Because uh, it says fragile, do not lay flat, and it's been upside down. And it's all bent. And it's kind of bent up. Ooh. So <laughs> why that side up? <laughs> it's a whiteboard. Ah. All right, so it's not like crazy. But it is destroyed. But it is definitely broken. Uh, you won't be able to hang this at all. Wow. Oh wow! <laughs> Did somebody get angry? I mean, it looks like it <laughs> fell like on top of yeah. it like this. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. There, I mean, this is zero. There's no way. Aww. I think this palette's making me sad because there's so much broken stuff that I don't even, broken. I can't resell it. Yeah. And one of the big things that we, one of the big things we love about reselling is that we can, you know, keep stuff out of the landfills. But to this palette, it's like almost... It's just difficult because it's like a lot of this stuff's gonna have to go to landfill anyway because I don't know how to reuse it. So that's unfortunate. But I mean, this is a good, you know, $15, $20 whiteboard, but it is zero for us today. All right. So we have got a 3D printer stand with a damaged box, and I'm not liking it. As you can see, these little things are broken. Aww. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna be able to be used, if these are secured in there, because it looks like 
the bolts this screws in right there and uh, it sucks maybe that's where the wheels go and if that's where the wheels go then it will probably be okay it's something that we can sell use condition may have to put it together to make sure the rest of it fits right but this can be used without wheels uh, which is good to salvage it so we don't have to throw it in the dump but uh it is still a bummer that that's broken and then over here we've got some more damage looks like we've got some dings on the shelf so that's no good losing money huh see how much money we lost on this another thought i had is if yeah. we put it together and it's the right height we could put it in the flea market booth as a uh, a display shelf oh ah, yep so there goes this there it goes at least it's not like hundreds yeah. of dollars so 66 bucks brand new best case scenario we can put it together it fits good we can get 20 bucks out of it but then at the same time is is it worth me putting it together just to make 20 bucks like it's, the, it's what you have to balance Go ahead and grab this guy right on top. He, it's light. That guy. It's light. The box is pretty smushed. Looks like something fell on it like this. When it says, please handle with care, and I see something smushed like that, that makes me very nervous. Um, let's see. Let me see. Do you have the uh, box cutter by chance? Babe? I do. Seen a lot of styrofoam, which is good. Yeah, and the styrofoam has definitely taken some wow, some hits. So let's see, I don't even know how to pull this out because it's all one thing. And it's so uh, damaged, it's not gonna slide up. I think mm. it might be lighting. Lighting? Yeah, like some kind of like lighting picture maybe. And that box, that styrofoam's I all mean, bent up. I mean, it's really, really bent up. And uh, is it taped together or is it just squished together? I think it's just squished together. Okay. Yeah, ah. so it is lighting. It's a lantern. Yeah. They're very pretty. Oh, wall, wall lanterns. Um, I'm actually not seeing very much damage. I, I wanna, I kind of wanna pull this guy out because he's squished together. Um, they attach to like a sconce, and uh, I'm actually pretty sure it's okay. Yeah, flip it around like this. It goes in a little wall. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> So uh, he looks fine, actually. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So it's 109. I don't even know what I'd get for this, babe. What do you think? So lights, we have sold lights on Facebook before and we've done well with. And then there's some lights on Facebook where we didn't sell them at all. Uh, but I think the best bet to get the most money is going to be for us to try to sell it on Facebook, especially now people doing home remodels are looking for deals. And uh, this is kind of decorish. So uh, I think we'll try and get like 70 bucks for those uh, here locally on Facebook. If they don't sell in a couple weeks, I'll put them on eBay uh, and price them for uh, probably around 89 bucks, hoping to profit 60 bucks after shipping and fees. Go ahead and grab this little dude here because it looks like it's about to fall. And uh, it's another. Look at him trying to get all the heavy stuff for me. Another box damaged item, which is, uh, I'm seeing damage to the item itself. So that's not good. Dining room table. And I didn't know this brand made dining room tables. We knew they made bed stuff, but apparently now they make bed stuff. No, table stuff. They make table stuff. Apparently they make table stuff in addition to bed. And looking at the corner of 
looks like there's a little damage to a leg there, right there. There's a it's damage to the corner it, it, of the it, table. It's got like this industrial look, yeah. and that's my favorite. And I'm just kind of really sad that it's broken. Yeah, so that's a bummer that that's that way. But the question is how much? Oh, it's cute. Oh, okay, so that's not even, that. it's like a computer table type like thing. Ah, okay. It's so, cute. 81 bucks. I mean, it could be a dining room table yeah. for like a small. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So, 81 bucks with that damage, with knowing what tables sell for here in this area, uh, 40 bucks is going to be a steal for this. Like, somebody will jump on it very, very quickly for 40 bucks. But that's what we're going to go with. You're ridiculous. Come <laughs> on. I'm just trying to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> we have Zinus. I really need someone to tell me exactly how to pronounce this. Zinus. Zinus or Zinus? Like Zinus. If there's a brand representative from Zinus or Zinus please, watching. Please let us know how to pronounce yeah. your name. And we like your stuff. It sells well. We're not sponsored by you yet, but we <laughs> Alright, so we got box damaged. Oh, that's and, like uh, super box damage. I think we had a couple scratches, but it's on the back side which is good if there's going to be scratches not good that there is scratches but good that the scratches are on the back side and it's a headboard a king size headboard which and it's gray which is a good color everybody likes gray these days this is so big upc code oh that's pretty and they've sold a lot and they got great reviews they so, usually do. 131 bucks. 131. Yeah. Not bad. That's nope. not bad. Awesome. So, how much is a queen size? Can you buy me one? <laughs> queen is 70 bucks. Yeah, you should buy me one. <laughs> right on. Uh, we've got that thing in there that I'm going to put together. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. So, 131 bucks. Uh, I'm thinking 100 bucks. Uh, price it for 100. If we get at least 80 bucks for it, I'll feel good. But price it for 100. So if you guys have been keeping up with the prices, um, and if you haven't, that's okay, because I'll just tell you. Um, we have one box in here that's got a few things in it, I think, um, and we need to make $300 to reach our goal. Looking at this box, I don't think we're gonna make it, but um, we're gonna go through this together and see what we've got. This smells so plastic. This is a it's like a cat litter house. It is. It is. That is exactly what it is. It looks like there's two of them. No, there's one. This is a lid, I believe. I believe this is a... No, there might be two. Hey, Joe, I think there's two of them. Hey, Jessica, I think there's two. Nope, it's not two. Yes, it is two. I don't know. It's just the lids. Wait. No, this comes out. What are you talking... Oh. Hey, guys, I think there's two. <laughs> I think there's two litter boxes hey, here. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Uh, very, sometimes I don't. Very inexpensive uh, yeah. looking. Uh, I'm just gonna look it up and see. This will. I can already tell you right now. It's gonna go in the flea market booth. Um, somebody will buy it. Kitty cats love us. Okay, thirty-eight, thirty-eight. Wow, thirty-eight dollars. Yeah. Probably because of the lid and then the filter on the top and then uh... But it's also, those things are more than what we think. I mean, it's a poop house. I don't yeah. understand. Uh, it's a $38 poop house, um, which we will sell for $15 a piece at the flea market. So all together, that's 30 bucks for the poop houses. <laughs> this is for the, uh, the tent there. This is a... Um... It's like a, oh, there's pieces falling everywhere. Luckily, this is still in a bag, but it's a uh, spreader. So it's a lawn care spreader. Oh, okay. And uh, you put like seeds and dirt and different kinds of stuff. We have a bunch of pieces here. We'll have to go through and make sure that all the pieces are here. It looks like this is sold, this is a separate item. Yeah, what is that that's different? It's a tension rod of some sort, I think. It's a uh, fishing pole. I'm confused. 
Okay, okay. Shakespeare's, oh. Oh, my goodness. It's a 16 foot fishing pole. <laughs> but it's broken. It's like it's supposed to be like a little something on the bottom here that screws inside to keep it from coming out. And uh. Is this, is this it? It looks like it might be it. Huh. Possibly. See, it goes down there. It still may be broken because it looks like there's some plastic missing there at the bottom. Yeah, it's still broken. Sad day. Yeah, because it's got it's supposed to have something else. This goes in there, and then there's another piece that this screws on. But the plastic piece is for sure broken. Yeah, I don't see any so other. So this is gonna have to be a zero. But um. Fishing poles usually yeah. can usually go for pretty good. You want to see how much it yeah. would have been? What size do we need? 16. 16? So it would be, it would have been $17. Yeah. All right, now what about this? All right, so we're going to have to make sure all the pieces are here. Open up the instruction manual, make sure that they're all here. It's got the wheels. It's got the handle. It looks like most of the stuff, all the stuff is here. I don't know how much these run. So, uh, we need to find out. So this is, uh, it's got two prices on Amazon, which is weird. It's got one for $273 that you can see right there. But then it's also got one for $179. Go back and to the other one. I wonder if that's, I don't know. And I think where the confusion is mainly is because it's on sale right now. So normally it's $249.99, which is probably about right. So what can we get for it? So I'm going to have to put this together to make sure that all of the pieces are there because they're all the pieces you see and they're in a box. So I'm going to go for $150. Bucks. We have a, a, a small window of time to be able to sell this. So I'm going to price it aggressively to get out of here fast so we're not keeping it for another season. So $150. Bucks. All right. So we have just unboxed the last item in this palette. It was this spreader uh, that went for $150. So if you've been keeping up, keep in mind we're all in $610 for this palette. Um, in order for us to consider this a successful palette, we want to double our money. Um, and that would put us at $12.20. Um, unfortunately, we did not make it this time. Um, we did have a lot of items that equaled out to zero or a lot of items that were priced well, um, that were high priced but were broken. Um, and so we had to really, really dial down that price and that really set us behind. Honestly, I think we did better than I thought we were going to do. We did. Uh, looking at this palette, um, when I first saw it, I was actually a little discouraged and I was like, Joe, why did we spend so much for this palette? I don't understand. And Joe was like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just, we just got caught up in the moment. But we ended up doing pretty good. We ended up making $1,085 conservatively on this palette, which only put us $135 under our goal, which really, in retrospect, isn't that bad. It isn't that bad. We technically didn't lose any money. Um, we are gonna have to spend some time putting um, stuff together, um, which I'm not a fan of, so my lovely husband over not there is gonna either. do that. <laughs> Um, but we had fun. We had fun unboxing with you. Yeah. We had fun learning some things, and I hope you guys learned some things too. Also, if you do know how to pronounce this brand over here, Zinus or Zenus, please let us know what you think it is because we say it all the time, and I'm not even really sure how to pronounce it. So, uh, yeah, but we appreciate you guys tuning in with us. Yeah. Until next time, peace. peace.